because of copyright, I can only show you a short clip of this video. Today we are going to talk more about how to build this boat. For more detail, you can go to Maker's site to see the complete video. I have posted videos on how to do heat fusion, and I'm not going to repeat that in this video. This is the playlist. Please take a look at the videos, and you can get that from my channel, DIY USA. Please also take a look at my Gen 12 videos because it will cover things I may not include in the Gen 14 videos. The hull of Gen 14 is made up of two sheets of cobblest, and they are overlapped at the middle. The question is how much overlapping do we need? It really depends on which kind of fusion method you use. The old method I use only 3 inches, but with the new method using an iron, it would be wider. The fused joint is stronger than using tape or glue I have tried it, but it is not watertight. To fix that, after I use the iron to fuse the corpus together, apply a layer of silicone sealant at the joint. Then I seal the edge with Gorilla tape and it will give me a reliable and watertight joint. Assume that you use the iron to fuse the joint and the width of the iron is at 4.5 inch. Then I allow 1 inch for the sealant and another inch for taping the Gorilla tape. So a total of 6 inches will be needed. And at the bottom of the joint, I would like to apply another layer of Gorilla tape so as to prevent any water from seeping into the inner channels of the chloroplast. After you have fused the two sheets together to form a bigger sheet, one problem is the final sheet will not be in a perfect rectangle. Therefore, when you transfer the, the plan onto the chloroplast, you want to start from the center. You want to draw a center line. You do all the measurements based on the center line. And if you have to measure along the horizontal line, I suggest you always measure from one end, the same end of the chloroplast only. The chloroplast is made up of many channels. And when you start putting down the center line, Let's say I put it here. I usually want to put it right in the middle of the channel because I will have a roller to compress down to create a full line. But then the problem is the final distance from here to here may be different from here to here. As you can see here, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 you end up you have an extra width here. The extra width is about a quarter of an inch, which is the width of the channel. And after you finish the bolt, you wouldn't see that difference. Let's take a look at this plan. All these blue lines are the PVC lattice caps. This is the lattice cap and I got it from Home Depot. It is mounted onto the edges of the coral plust. And if I expand it bigger, you can see all the screws here holding the lattice cap onto the edge of the coral plust. The lattice cap at the bow here and at the stern doesn't need to be that long because if it's too long here, it will be very difficult to fold it into smaller shape for transportation because the front here will be just too rigid and it doesn't give when you try to bend it. The length may just be about one to one and a half feet will be sufficient and the spacing of the screw I suggest to go with a 
two inches or even one and a half inch apart so that uh, if any stress is being applied to the gunnel, it will not tear the corpus that easily because the force is being spread out. After I mount the lattice cap onto the edge of the coil plus, and then I can mount this bracket. I will use a PVC pipe to create a shape like this. The ends will be inserted into this hole here, as you can see here, and also this cross beam here. There are different ways to secure this cross beam. The one I illustrate here is trying to drill a hole onto the PVC pipe and then use, use a hitch pin, insert into the holes and stop the cross beam from coming out. At the front of the boat here, there's only one single layer of coral plast, which is 4 mm thick. But the gap here is about 7.3 mm which is too wide. Therefore, I suggest you to add another piece of a coil plus to make the edge thicker. And when you put screws through it, it will keep the gun more stable. These are the links to the video for Heat Fusion and also for Gen 12 Kayak. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So when I upload the next video, you will be informed. Thanks for watching. Bye.